Right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Shawnee versus Justice. Game one on Tau Cross. So, uh, it's going to be a PVT. And looks like we have a third player. Uh, ah, I guess this game was played somewhere. Or, oh no, I guess he was just hosting. Anyway, in the top right corner, as the green Protoss, uh, the crowd favorite, it seems, Shawnee. Uh, of course, he is a regular streamer on Team Liquid as well. I should check out his stream. And in the bottom position, as the blue Terran, we have Justice, who I really have no idea who he is. Apparently, he's just like uh, some C-ranked player. But hopefully, he will provide some interesting games against Shawnee. Um, especially on Tau Cross, which I, I do believe is slightly Terran favored in this matchup. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what's going on. And uh, I will quickly like to give a shout out to all the sponsors, they are Kale Vitan, TwitchTV.com, KOS Templar, uh, Elegant AOV, Ruskig, Trap, Megashira AOV, A1K1, A4K1, Noise AOV, and Miso Chobo. Thank you to all of those uh, guys for being awesome. Uh, and looks like we have a depot in the bottom here. Polon is done, probably gonna make a gateway. <clears throat> gateway? Gateway? Okay, interesting position for a gateway. Uh, sure. Whatevs. Fine. And there is the barracks from Justice. So, standard stuff so far, which means that I shall eat cake! Bet you didn't see that one coming. Uh, hold on. Alright, give me a second. Alright, he's doing pro for ass, it's fine. It's fine. Oh my god, why do they make these boxes so hard to open? Oh, fantastic. Seriously, it's been like eight hours since I ate something, I think. Some, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Shawnee continue to do some harassment. Looks like not really taking the SCV down too far. Um, Justice doing a good job with the counter SCV. Well, actually, he's only gotten one hit, it looks like. And, uh,. <laughs> Okay, um, Justice is going to see a <laughs> floated command center. Uh, looks like Shawnee getting his gas, not doing anything sneaky. He actually is making a zealot first, interestingly enough. Um, not going straight for the core. Uh, so let's see if he can do any damage with it. I mean, he's doing a nice job with this probe so far. Hmm. So. Oh. Looks like Marina's out. Oh, no! I was actually hiding behind the refinery. Um, so yeah, we have a Zealot coming down. Uh, and a probe. Why is there a probe going out? Is he gonna do like a hidden... Some hidden tech or something? Is he just like checking for proxy factories? What is he doing? Uh... Okay. I think he was actually checking for proxy factories, perhaps. Because, I mean, it is possible to build a factory here and float it into your opponent's main, uh, since there is only a narrow wall here. And here comes the Zealot. Now, uh oh gonna have to do some micro here. Unfortunately, he didn't do any kind of SimCity that allowed him to micro Zealots back and forth. Usually you see, uh, Terran, that's why usually you see Terran, Terran players, like, build, uh, a depot next to the barracks or next to the factory or something like that so that you can micro uh, your marines between them until it can't fit through but uh, Justice didn't do anything like that so he's gonna have to do some really nice micro with these uh, with these marines but it looks like he does the Zella I think only had one kill right there so uh, not the most effective Zella in the world and looks like the probe of Shawnee just you know did a little loop-de-loop -loop and uh, went down here oh so we have a bit of lag hopefully it's not too serious well, I guess it is serious, but we're in a replay, so we don't care. Tra la 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 la. Mm. Looks like we have Spider Mine, so it's just, it is going to be an FD from Justice. Um, Shawnee though has gone for two gates and Robo. Wow, Shawnee, based doing the the super safe two gate Robo build. Uh, this used to be fairly standard, but it's kind of fallen out of favor nowadays since uh, it does put you a little bit behind economically for basically being too safe. 
And, uh, oh, he should get this SCV. Well, Dragoons are pretty dumb. But he should get it. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. Um, anyway, he's gonna push in here. So, uh, the 2 gate Robo will, will crush the FD push, but, uh, you know, his expansion is gonna be quite a bit behind the Terrans. Um, so... Won't be in the greatest economic position, but you know, I think I think this is actually smart because uh, if justice is just a random, well, I, I keep hitting my microphone. I hope, uh, hope I'm not killing you guys with with crazy audio. I think if uh, if justice really is some random C player and Shawnee knows that, then you know he's he's gonna expect some kind of cheese or something. So he just wants to play safe. Uh, doesn't want to get knocked out in a silly fashion. I mean, if the Terran is two facting, two gate obs is is just a wonderful build to be doing. But uh, he's gonna come down here with these dragoons. Um, looks like Justice just laying these mines defensively. Actually, I don't know if he even scouted the two gate. Um, but either way, and oh, Shawnee takes a huge mine in. Oh no! Oh no! He did not want to do that. Is he gonna lose a second dragoon? No, nope, barely gonna save it. Oh, but he's leading with it. Shawnee, you gotta put that one in the back, man. Put it in the back. Put it in the behind. Okay, I made that intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> Messed up sounding. <laughs> Siege mode being research, engineering bay going down. And wow, what is going on in my chat? Dude, my chat did my chat just like just like turn into Craigslist or something? You guys you guys get a room. And uh oh, uh oh. Justice getting a little bit over eager here. He should shoot the red dragoons. I don't think he realizes he can shoot like three of those dragoons dead in one hit or something. Uh, or maybe two of them. Anyway, looks so like there's the SCV transfer. So, see, Shawnee's Nexus is not even halfway done. And Justice is already mining from his. And now he has Siege Mode, so he will be safe against uh, against these Dragoons. Uh, looks like Justice just running around with his SCV, checking for hidden expos, I suppose. But, uh... But yeah, this is an interesting pylon. I, I, was, I looked at this just now, and I wasn't sure what to make of it. I'm thinking about it still. I mean... I guess you can drop siege tanks back here and siege the mineral line, but there is a cliff over the natural, so I would assume that if he was doing that, he'd drop on the cliff. I don't know. It's in a it's a funny positioning, and he didn't send the pro back to mine either, so I'm a little bit confused by this guy. Anyway, we do have a citadel, blah, 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 citadel, and uh, third gateway. And oh oh, oh running into siege tank, no! Okay, he saves it. Uh, Justice doing an interesting push out right here, and I'm gonna have another bite of cake. Mmm. Yum yum yum. So SCV going out to scout, um, but you know Shawnee hasn't taken a, a third yet or anything like that. I think another reason um, this is a somewhat Terran favorite map is that um, all of the bases, all the expos are quite open. Like your your regular third. There's like nowhere to pylon block. It's very easy to vultures for bleh, for vultures to run in and kill your probes. So you have to do something like I don't know. If you expand to another main, you can block it off, but uh, it's not so. It's not as nice as a map like you know Fighting Spirit, where you can just pylon wall the ramp, and uh, and yeah. Oh, lots of people want another kind of cake. It's just a, a regular sponge cake with lemon icing. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Sponge cake, and yeah, it doesn't actually have a description on the box. <laughs> um, anyway, SCP randomly gets into the base. Uh, season archives. That's actually a uh, relatively quick archives. To be honest, this looks somewhat like uh, the PVT build that I've been using recently, where I I rush for. Um... Oh, never mind. He's actually going to base arbiter. Troll lo lo lo. Uh, interestingly, he built the archives before the Stargate. Usually, you build the Stargate before the Templar archives because the Stargate takes just a little bit longer to build. Um, I think there's an exact timing. It's something like when the archives is 20% done, you build the Stargate. Something like that. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, and then they'll finish at the same time, and you can build an Arbiter Tribunal. But uh, obviously, it's it's just a few seconds difference. Uh, it's it's not it's not anything game changing. Anyways, looks like the Terran is going up to four factories. Uh, only one machine shop still. And uh, does he have speed yet? Uh, looks like he does have speed. So has all of the critical upgrades. And uh, Shawnee's actually pulling back. He's got four zealots already. That's interesting. 
Uh, probably just, you know, had to sp sp uh, save the gas for the Arbiters. And there is the Tribunal. And uh, going up to five gateways as well. This is an interesting gateway configuration. It's kind of like blocking units from running into his main too easily. Could be good against, uh, you know, Vulture shenanigans. Meanwhile, Justice is doing a very slow uh, push out of his natural, even though uh, the Protoss is already gone. And there is a machine, second machine shop now. And uh, an armory going down. So doing a very standard 4-fact um, against Shawnee's 2-base Arbiter. So let's see how uh, how it does. If you look at the food counts, 90 food for Shawnee against uh, 91 for Justice. But Shawnee obviously going, rushing his tech, uh, rushing up his tech is... Uh, well, what is Terran going to have for mobile detection? He's going to have two commsats. And... No sign of a starport just yet. The Arbiter is on the way. So, uh, Shawnee's gonna actually expand towards his opponent here, kind of. Uh, taking his normal not, uh, sorry, no, his normal third. Um, and just gonna use some Arbiters to help defend that. Now, is he getting stasis? Looks like he's not. Just gonna use the Arbiter cloaking for now. Well, I might get it later. Um, I think, I think you can, I think with the research is actually... Well, no, that wouldn't make sense. But Arbiters take forever to build. I actually don't know what the exact build time is. Uh, easy Profit, I don't think Technic's game has been casted. Um, I certainly didn't cast it, I don't think Elegant did. Uh, I can take a quick peek on the... Meh, I don't, I don't think it's been done. Anyway, Justice is pushing out right now uh, with a decent sized force. Gonna be uh, reinforcing that from the four factories. So this is a pretty standard push right here. Uh, nothing crazy like a 6-fact, but uh, still a force to be reckoned with. Now, where is the Arbiter? The first Arbiter is still not quite out yet. And this timing, this is actually a great time for Justice to push. He's got to be a bit careful, though. He's uh, moving his Siege Tanks over Spider Mines, but Shawnee doesn't really have anything to uh, take advantage of it. Shawnee cancels his third right before it finishes, so Shawnee has been set back hugely by this push, having to cancel that third. After investing those 400 minerals for so long, looks like his plus one is not quite done yet, and he's even got a probe with his army. Shawnee, Shawnee, this is not what he wanted. It, he just he wanted the Terran to push to come maybe 20 seconds slower, and he would have has, had his Arbiter out. Looks like he's going for a counterattack with a uh, a few dragoons right here, uh, as well as an observer. And it looks like uh oh, Justice getting a little bit disorganized with his army, moving back to clean up the reinforcements, and now losing the units in the front. But uh, Shawnee's still with a, uh, a relatively small army count and running into Spider Mines! Oh! Huge hit right there. Uh, meanwhile, looks like he's uh, planning to take the left side main base and has retaken his third right here. Um, looks like the first Arbiter is out. Second one in production. Now, how much? Uh, how many scans does Terran have? Looks like he's got three scans and. Okay, three scans apiece. So. If he decided to push, I think he will actually have plenty of detection um, to be able to, to push Shawnee back. But it looks like instead he's just going to play safe and take a third base. Going for the long game, and uh-oh, bring some vultures in here. There are two Dragoons blocking, so Justice will know what's going on. Uh, now, these vultures, looks like they actually used up all their spider mines, so he won't be able to force his way through the two Dragoons. I think if he had some mines still, he would uh, be able to do that. And whoa, what's going on here? Heard a spider mine go off. Uh, looks like there is a lot of damage here on these units. But uh, Shawnee is going in. There's not that many units, but a lot of siege tanks in the back. This is not a good attack for Shawnee. He's going in with the Arbiter. I don't know if he has a stasis yet. He has 100 energy. Uh, looks like he... I don't know if he has stasis. Um, he is now taking the left side base. And uh, he's basically double expanding right now. Uh, since he knows he's in a little bit of trouble, I think. He's a little bit behind. And we have the Spider Mines being planted in the main base. Uh, very, very smart to defend against Arbiter. Uh, Recalls, but the observer does see it, and ooh, a bunch of Goliaths actually being made to shoot down those Arbiters. The food count is quite even, 128 for Shawnee against 123 of the Terran, but that does uh, uh, favor the Terran, who also has plus one attack against, well, it's like a 1-0 against 1-0. Uh, meanwhile, the Vultures have planted mines, uh, or it looks like, no, they're just camping at each of these uh, 